Let's talk about replacing a down node. Now, this is a pretty common operation, especially in a very large cluster. Good operations topic. If you're running a Cassandra cluster or a DataStacks Enterprise cluster, you really should know how to do this because it's gonna happen. So what are the benefits of replacing a down node? Well, it's all about not having to move data a lot. Let's minimize the amount of process that you have to put towards replacement. And moving a lot of data can be expensive. When you have terabytes of data sitting in one place, it takes a while for that to move around. Minimizing that is a good idea. You're doing this instead of doing a remove and then an add. This is a replace, so it's all done in one shot. So you can see here, this is a node tool status output. And what we're seeing is a node that we wanna replace. So we wanna configure a new node for the cluster, normally with one step, so we wanna replace address. And this should be an IP address of the node you wanna replace. You can see here we have 172.17.04. Let's replace that one. So whenever you start that node in the JVM options file, you'll put the IP address of the dead node inside there. And that's just to give it an indication like that IP address, I wanna replace that one. This is a shortcut operation. This says, I just wanna replace whatever that was, give me all the data and let's keep it at that. So very quick operation. And one of those things that was born of frustration of people before you having to remove a node and then go and bootstrap a new one. This is a great option for those of you in operations. One thing of note, after you're done, you need to go back into your JVM options file and remove that statement because it's done, it's not removed automatically, it's something that you have to do. So you're gonna go look at the other running nodes and make sure that seed address is no longer in the Cassandra YAML file. Once you change it, it's a rolling restart. You wanna restart all the nodes to make sure that they're updated with the new information. Remember, seed nodes aren't just there for bootstrapping. Seed nodes are also there as a list of nodes to contact if gossip starts losing its mind. If gossip can't find one of the addresses that it's been communicating with, it'll always fall back to the seed addresses. So this is why it's important to update that after you remove a seed node. So let's try an exercise where we add and remove a node and see how it works. 